Will they be, well, they being Unity, be implementing and optimizing the night and day cycles uh, with varying sprites given time and day? So, you know, we have, we, we do have some early, early on, we were seeing the, the night mode, the sunsets happening. John has got some amazing shots of him driving off the beach and looking at these beautiful orangish, uh, yellowish uh, sunsets in the world. Uh, you're really experiencing, as you said earlier, Andrew, about, you know, the uh, taking the in real, in real life experience and getting it yep. as emulated as close as possible in the world. So these these this question is more on the sprites themselves. Curious about like maybe their their spawning effects are more prominent in yep. night versus day and things like that. I don't know, maybe Justin, you want to take this maybe. Right. Yeah, know. yeah. I'll I'll go into some of these more um specific questions. So, you know, again this all goes back to what we we're saying earlier that um we're collaborating with Unity. We're taking a very holistic approach to this. So, yes, we are working on several specific tasks. Um, we are trying to match a lot of uh, real-world things with the metaverse. So, obviously, creatures have different cycles. Uh, you know, there's nocturnal creatures, night and day. Um, there are a lot of, um, you know, those things to consider. But we're looking at the world as a whole right now, and we're really focusing our time and efforts to, to execute the larger vision. So, yes, this is part of the larger vision, just like um, plot building mechanics is part of the larger vision. Um, so, yes, uh, that's the short answer. We're, we're implementing all these changes to give people an engaging, fun, um, smooth, playable experience. I think Justin summarized it at the end of the day the the mechanics have to be first and then the art, artistic elements will follow. Um, a real world sort of simulation where the sun sets and you get those different lighting effects and shadows and stuff would be obvious, obvious uh, as part of that experience. But yeah, it's not going to happen in the first uh, few months of, of the exercise I wouldn't anticipate. Now that you've had your hands on TCG World for about a month, uh, how much fixing, optimizing versus building new things? We kind of talked about this topic a little bit, but I yeah. think they've said it a little bit differently here. Uh, fixing, optimizing versus building new things, would you say your team has already done? So a month in here, uh, just about yeah. a month in, a little bit over a month actually, uh, mm -hmm. in, in the contract. Uh, what, what would you say uh, so far? Yeah, I'd say the there's a there's an assessment period, right, where we have to really understand what's happening, what's been built over the last 18 to 20 months. Uh, so a lot of that's been done. We've definitely identified a lot of areas where we are going to start work, and we have started to make recommendations uh, to David and, and Justin and the team on on these items. Um, we the repository for for the assets, for example, we've already started uh, optimizing that. Uh, so yeah, we're 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 well we're, we're well into it, but as you can probably appreciate, there is a bit of time for all these fifteen people to really get immersed. Um, you know, we we talk about the the goals together. We try to to understand as much as possible. But when you when you kick off a project, that's when a lot of the team members are inter introduced for the first time, right? And so they spend the first two three weeks really just kind of digging, like what is what what do we have right now, so that we can understand you know, where we can, where we can uh, optimize the most, but yeah, and right now we're optimizing versus building. And as we get near, uh, you know, the second half of the year, that's, that's when you'll see, start to see a lot more of the building.